Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to our seller's guide. This is episode three. Now make sure you download our seller's guide. We're gonna guide you through this entire process from everything we've talked about as well as other upcoming episodes. Now last week we talked about what a real estate agent actually does and if you even need to hire one for you to sell your home. Now this week we're gonna talk about what you do if you've decided that you would like to hire a real estate agent to assist you with the sale of your property. So what's the next step? To interview them of course. Now, I believe one of the biggest misconceptions out there is that all real estate agents are the same. As long as you've got a real estate license, you can do what the other real estate agent can do and nothing could be further from the truth. To give you an idea, last year in Durham region, there was about 7,000 real estate agents that did one deal in all of Durham region. Now, this is a buy or a sale. However, of that 7,000, half only did one deal the entire year. Only 10% of all the real estate agents in Durham region did more than 10 deals in the entire year. So that means 90% of the real estate agents are doing less than one deal a month. Now, this is not a knock on any agents or about their production levels. It's just you need to understand what a real estate agent is going to be doing when they're selling your home. Now, as a real estate agent that has been involved in five transactions the entire year, going to have the exact same market knowledge and experience, systems in place, marketing budget, that's somebody that did 20 or 30 to 50 deals in the entire year. So this is something you have to take into consideration when you're hiring a real estate agent. Now, it doesn't mean you have to go with one or the other. It's about asking and finding out and picking one that you're comfortable with. Now, how many agents do you meet with? I personally say three, anything more than that, you might go through some analysis paralysis. However, this is one of the most expensive assets you're ever going to own. So you interview however many agents you need to before you find somebody that you're comfortable with. A couple years ago, I actually met with a family of five and I came back three separate times to meet with them. And when they ended up hiring us, they told me that they had interviewed seven different real estate agents. Now, again, I thought that was a bit much. I felt like I was on an episode of Dragon's Den talking to five different decision makers. However, they did what they felt was necessary to hire someone that they were 100% confident with. So first and foremost, you wanna find out, are you a part-time agent or are you a full-time agent? You'd be surprised how many people uh, will sign with a real estate agent and then page them, and they won't get a call back until the next day saying, oh, sorry, I was at my other job. All right, so you wanna know about this before you actually sign with them and commit to a real estate agent. Now, second, you wanna find out what they're charging. It's obviously extremely important aspect of selling your home is how much they're gonna charge you. You always gotta keep in mind, you get what you pay for. And again, as I said with the stats earlier, a lot of the people who are cutting their commissions are doing it for cheaper because A, they have another side job or they have another full-time job actually, and they're doing this as a side job. And you have to always keep in mind, if a real estate agent is willing to cut their commission to a certain amount, where is that coming out of their budget? Is it going to come out of their marketing budget to get your property exposure? Or is it going to come out of their budget for their personal income to cover their mortgage and their car payment and feed their family? More often than not, it's going to affect your marketing budget. Now, it doesn't really matter that much in a hot market when it's very easy to sell. However, when it's a balanced or a buyer's market, you need to make sure your agent is getting you the ultimate exposure for your property you're gonna to wanna to ask them for some of their stats. Now, it's no guarantee, but the best indicator of future results is past results. Wouldn't you agree with that? You're gonna to wanna to ask them what their average days on market is. You wanna know what their average sale price to list price ratio is. These are all things that will give you a pretty good idea as to how quickly they're selling their homes and how close to asking are they actually selling for. How long they've been in business isn't that important for me. I'd rather talk to somebody and find out how much experience they've got. I'd rather hire a real estate agent that's been in the business for maybe three years but is selling 20 to 30 homes a year as opposed to a real estate agent that's been in the business for 30 years but sells an average of four or five homes every single year. It all comes down to how much experience they've got. Additionally, you're gonna to wanna to find out what kind of support staff they've got. Do they have a marketing coordinator or a transaction coordinator? Is it just them? Do they have a support system with other real estate agents on the team? Are they gonna be handling your listing personally or are they gonna hand you off to another real estate agent? Again, there is no right or wrong answer to this. It's all about finding out the answers and then deciding who you feel the most confident with. Now, where do you get some people to interview? You're gonna to wanna to ask some family or friends, people that you know have had a good experience with a real estate agent, maybe a realtor that you keep seeing their name pop up, or even somebody whose videos you watch and you might wanna just kind of get together with them to see what they have to offer. Another thing I would ask is, do they offer any guarantees? You know, what if I'm not satisfied with the level of service you're providing? Will you force me to stay in this contract? Will you offer me a suspension? Or will you let me completely out with a cancellation? And my favorite one is, do they have any referrals and recommendations? These days, it's a lot easier to see what people think of a particular service just by looking at the reviews, all right? Now, never judge somebody just based on one bad review. You're always gonna come across somebody that just uh, things can go left, unfortunately, but you're gonna wanna look at their overall score and you're gonna get a pretty good idea as to how they run their business if they've got a decent four, four and a half, even five-star rating. 
All right, guys, so these are some pretty good talking points to review with any real estate agent that you're gonna be interviewing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. And let me know, how did you guys decide the last real estate agent you hired to help sell your home? Was it a referral? Did you interview? I'd love to hear some of the experiences you've had. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and share if you liked our video. And as always, we'll talk next time. Yalla, bye.